Okay. So for molar basis, combined flux of A in Z direction can be represented using this equation. All right. I can use this equation as long as there are only two um, species in our system because this part is fixed law. Fixed law is applicable for binary system only. So as I said, the problem of this equation would be Na up here need to be combined with Na on the left hand side. However, in order to do so, you need to know Nb first. From our last example, we, we took Nb to be 0 because we know that um, once we, we took the balance of B, under assumption that B does not dissolve in the liquid from last week, I mean from last example, NB can be taken to be 0. Is NB 0 in this case? Similar, similar thing, you can do similar thing. If you take the system apart, this is the film, this is the surface of catalyst. <coughs> we know that A is diffusing into the film, going out of the film by the flux NAZ as Z equal to delta, right? This flux is supposed to be equal If I take this apart, if I split the system, strip the film off the catalyst surface, you should see that the flux out of the film is supposed to be equal to the flux going into the catalyst surface. So this is also NAZ as Z equal to delta. These two fluxes are supposed to be the same. Okay. <coughs> Same thing apply for B. We know that B is generated from the reaction on the surface and it is diffused into the film and diffused out of the film. So here will be NBZ as Z equal to delta. There will be NBZ at Z equal to zero. This flux is generated from the reaction here. So this NBZ as Z equal to delta, is it zero? No, it's not. It's not zero. So this value is not zero. All right? If it is not zero, what should we do about NBZ? <coughs> If you take a shell balance for species B, you can say that flux of B in, in takes place at Z plus delta Z times S minus flux of B going out times S equal to zero. That's a shell balance of species B. If you divide the whole equation by S delta Z, and take a limit, delta C approaching zero, you will end up with d n b z by d z equal to zero. Or flux of n b z is constant. Right? So both fluxes for both A and B are constant, but they are not zero. Okay? However, these two fluxes are related. Why? Because the reaction on the surface here is controlled <coughs> by stoichiometry ratio, 2A going into a B. 
So we can use stoichiometry ratio to correlate it between NAZ and NBZ. So your guess is supposed to be something related to stoichiometry ratio. So let me ask you th this. If the stoichiometry ratio is 2A becomes B, do you think you get 2NAZ equal to NBZ or 2 of the NBZ equal to NA, uh, I'm sorry, equal to NAZ? Which one is correct? Who says the first one is correct? Who says the second one is correct? Who has no idea? <laughs> It's supposed to be one of these, right? In order to make sure which one is correct, you need to interpret this correlation. In order to produce one mole of B, you need to supply two moles of A, right? So this reaction means two moles of A going in you get one mole of B going out. So flux of A or B, which one's supposed to be higher? Flux of A, right? You're supposed to supply more A to get B out. That means NA is supposed to be greater than and B. Which one makes NA greater than NB? This one means NA equal to 1 over 2 NB, right? This one is only half of NB. This one is twice as much of NB. So this one is correct. This one is not. Understand? Now, so I'm going to cross this out and say that we can write down relationship between flux of A and flux of B. However, fluxes are vectors so that we need to specify direction as well. A is go downward along Z direction, but B goes upward. So direction are opposite, so I'm going to put negative here. Okay? So I can replace NBZ here to be 1 over 2 or minus 1 over 2 NAZ. According to this relationship, you can convert NBZ into NAZ. Then this is 1 NAZ and half of NAZ. So as a result, you get 1 over 2. Take it back to this, part, to this portion. You have 1 minus half of XA. NAZ equal to minus C DAB DXA by DZ. Okay. In other words, NAZ is equal to minus CDAB over 1 minus half XA DXA by DZ. Again, I intentionally leave minus sign here because this one and that one we cancel out.
All right. So after derive flux of A in the function as a function of x A, then you can replace this relationship back to shear balance. So doing that, you get d by d z of c d a b over one minus half x a d x a by d z equal to zero. Is c constant? We know for sure diffusivity is constant, it can be took out, it can be taken out. What about C here? Is it constant? Again, C is the total concentration of A and B combined. But remember, right now our system is gas. It's a system, it's a film itself, which is gas. So therefore, gas can be assumed to be ideal gas as long as the pressure and temperature is not too extreme. So C can be written as pressure over RT for gas or for ideal gas, right? So as long as you say that temperature does not change much within the film itself and pressure does not change as well, concentration or total concentration can be assumed to be uh, constant. C here can be, took, can be taken out. All right. From here, I can integrate the equation. So I get 1 minus half xA dxA by dz equal to 0. And then I can convert this differentiation to d of 1 minus half xA. Can I? You just take d of 1 minus half xA by dxA. Differentiation of this, you get 1 over 2 minus 1 half. Okay? So that rearrange this part up here, you get dxA equal to minus 2 d of 1 minus 1 half xA. Bring this to replace in here. Then you get minus 2 over 1 minus half xA. Are you following? From here to there, I just change xA to this part so that I can integrate it easily. So integration of this part, you will get minus 2 logarithm of 1 minus half xA equal to Oops, I'm sorry. From here to here, you get constant, right? Integrated once, you get constant. You integrate it twice, you get C1 times Z plus another constant, C2. 